how to calculate gender ratio. If you're curious about how to calculate the gender ratio, whether it's for a workplace, a school, or any other group, you're in the right place. Let's break it down step by step. First, you need to know the number of females and males in the group. For example, if you're calculating the gender ratio in a company, you would count the number of female employees and the number of male employees. Once you have these numbers, you can use a simple formula to calculate the gender ratio. One common way to do this is to find the ratio of females to males. Here's how you can do it. Count the total number of females. Count the total number of males. Divide the number of females by the number of males. For instance, if there are 30 female employees and 20 male employees, you would calculate the ratio as follows. Text gender ratio, frac number of females, text number of males equals frac 30, 20 equals 1.5. This means there are 1.5 females for every male in the group. Another way to look at it is to calculate the gender diversity ratio, which gives you an idea of the balance between genders in the group. Here you add the number of females and males, then divide by the total number of employees. Using the same example, number of females F equals 30, number of males M equals 20 minus total number of employees T equals 50. The formula for the gender diversity ratio is R equals frac F plus MT equals frac 30 plus 20, 50 equals 1. This ratio tells you that the group is in terms of gender, but it doesn't give you the exact ratio of females to males. When calculating sex ratios across different age groups, the process can be a bit more complex. You need to separate the data for females and males for each age group, and then calculate the ratio for each group. For example, if you're looking at the population of a country, you might find that there are more male infants than female infants, but more females than males in older age groups. To calculate the sex ratio for a specific age group, you divide the number of females by the number of males for that age group. This gives you a ratio that shows whether there are more females or males in that age group. For example, if there are 96 girls for every 100 boys in a certain age group, the ratio would be text sex ratio number of females equals frac 966 100 equals 0 0.96. This means there are fewer girls than boys in that age group. By following these steps, you can accurately calculate the gender ratio and gain a better understanding of the gender balance within any group. Whether you're analyzing a workplace, a school, or a larger population, these calculations will help you make informed decisions and promote diversity and inclusion.